Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at how to use audio special effects. And audio special effects is really just when you add extra audio clips to your video so that you can get a cool sound effect with your actions. Like for example, instead of me snapping my fingers, it can sound like that. Or when I poke my nose, it would sound like that. You know, from birds. But for this video, I have given you a, a scene and you're going to simply replace the, not replace, you're going to key, you're going to key the paper that I have on the floor and you're going to insert under that keyed image or that keyed video, a uh, floor, a texture of some kind for me to walk on over. Let's take a look at the example that I gave you. I was getting my classroom ready for hybrid and I noticed this weird patch on my, on my floor. And when I go and touch it, it changes. I think I can walk on this? That was weird. Let's try changing it again. Let's see how this goes. That is so strange. Let's go one more time. What do you think that is? We all know how to start a project and find your video files in the shared folder. So you're going to bring this down and you're going to drop this on video two because as you can see behind me, there is something that needs to be keyed. And as you know, when you are keying something, you are simply stacking a deck of cards and the lowest card is going to be the background that goes beneath the keyed background. And this is all I'm going to give you because as you saw from the example that I gave you, you're going to key out the red paper on the floor. You're going to find images of different textures. Like I used broken glass, mud and snow. So you'll do the same. You'll find images and then as a quick refresher in order to key this out, you double click on your video and you go over to the one, two, three, four, fifth tab, click on the eyedropper and, whoops, I drop that out. Now you'll see that it's done a lot more than just take out that one part. And I look like some sort of zombie monster. So we need to defringe this so that I am not a zombie. That's part of this assignment. You need to make sure that you get this setting set up correctly. Unfortunately, this is going to leave a bit of a red swirl on my pants. Honestly, I really had a hard time getting rid of that. And that's because I'm using red instead of green, but we didn't have green paper at work. <laughs> now, once you have your background or the floor, I suppose, keyed out, you will need to put some sort of image below your video. And you see over here, I have the stars twinkling. And the key thing that I'm looking for here, and you may notice I'm always looking for you to time your edits precisely. And you are going to have the background under the floor change every time I snap my ruler against the floor. 
So I do that a couple of times here. So as you can see, every time I've done that, I have changed the image. Now you will see a couple of other things in my timeline here. So I have video one and video two because I just have a regular video and the background, but then I have multiple audio tracks. So if you want to add a new audio track, you need to click on the left hand side over here and then you will add a new audio track and you'll see over here SFX music and voice and we are adding SFX. And there are a couple SFXs that I'm looking for from you. One, you need to give me a weird sound of some kind as soon as I strike the floor. So it looks like something uh, weird is happening. And then every time I step on the floor, you can see I have these different audio clips cut up. If you just take a audio clip of someone walking, it's not going to match up with my walking. So what you really need to pay attention to in this assignment is precisely the moment I strike the floor to change the floor ground, background, floor ground, some kind of ground. But also, I want you to perfectly match my footsteps on the ground so it really does look and sound like I'm walking on something other than a piece of paper. So you know how to get music, which of course you always need to have in your video. So where do you get the sound effects? You have a couple of options. One is you can go into audio and they have sound effects here, but what we're looking for for this project, you won't find in this particular area. But if you go over here into stock media, and then on this little dial over here, we are going to only look for sound effects. We're going to turn all this other stuff off because we don't want anything other than sound effects in our search filter. So that's what this is, a search filter. We're filtering only for sound effects. And then if I just simply type in steps, you can hear all different kinds of types of steps and you can look through all of these and it keeps on going and going and going so you really just need to think about what kinds of steps do you want are you looking for like snow got it are you looking for mud got it so use your imagination Find something interesting for me to walk on and then add the sound effects to make it sound like I'm actually walking on it. So you really don't need to leave the app in order to get what you need. Aside from your audio, like the, the music in the background. But that's, that's really it. This project is really building on previous skills. Once you know how to key, which you do, and you know how to edit things to get them perfectly timed, which you do, and you know how to add audio, which you do. The only new thing I'm adding here is that you're adding an additional audio track to time with my footsteps. So you'll notice I'm not actually showing you a whole lot of editing here because I've made videos about all this editing stuff before. And so this is just your opportunity to start showing me how you can use your imagination to find interesting things for me to walk on and find interesting sounds to show that I'm actually walking on those things. Even though I'm not. Oh, the one thing I didn't point out is something I did, and I haven't really focused too much about this in the class, is using markers. So you can add a marker to your video file by just simply wherever the playhead is. If you press M on your keyboard, you can see I've added a marker here and I use that to just, I watch through the video and I press M every time I put my foot down and then I just move my footstep sound effects to the marker. And then as you can see, I've lined them all up nicely and it came out wonderfully. And that's the project, everyone. I think that came out pretty cool. So, your task here is just simply to pick a texture for me to walk on and then using the Wii Video 
sound effects. You can insert different sounds of my feet touching the ground. And the trick here for you is selecting something for me to walk on, finding a good sound to go with it, and of course, most importantly, editing the sound clips to make sure that they are perfectly timed with my footsteps so it actually sounds like I'm walking on the thing that you have put, that you've keyed under the background. And that's the project, everyone. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you're gonna make me walk on.